all right fans of this channel we are back it is day one of the new season demon veil vale, so we are going to open up all of the alpha packs that we collected last season that's 39 in total which includes this single special holiday pack which is going to give us an operator four of these snow brawl packs a single siege esports pack and then a whopping 33 alpha packs at least two of which i believe will have legendaries so let's go ahead and start with this holiday pack this is going to give us an operator because Ubisoft generously donates one of your uh, unlocked operators to you each season. Uh, each Christmas, I should say. So I only have two operators not unlocked, and that's the most recent ones. So there's a single attacker, it's Osa. And then the most recent defenders, Thorn, and now the new one, Azami. So I'm going to be getting at least one of those. Well, not at least. I'll be getting one of those from this holiday pack. So let's see which one it is. It is Osa, so now I have all of the attackers unlocked. Great. All right, fantastic. All right, let's get this single eSports pack out of the way. This is not particularly uh, interesting to me, especially when it's a card background, or I suppose foreground for um, smoke. I don't really know who cares about that, but whatever. These are the Snow Brawl packs. Most of these are uh, hideous. As you can see, um, they've got pretty terrible Christmas-themed uh, cosmetics, which don't look good. Um, I guess the ones we're going for is maybe one of these weapon skins, or this, probably this attachment is probably the best. It's kind of a snowy feel to it. Um, but yeah, frankly, these aren't that interesting to me. So let's just go through them real quick. It's a background card for Buck. Here's a legendary. It's this kind of um, Krumpus mask for Vigil. Here's Rook's hideous Christmas themed uniform. And then here's the last one. Oh, it's the Krumpus gun skin for Vigil. So I got two of the three items for Vigil. Um, but I already have legendary things for Vigil anyway, so it's kind of lost on me. Alright, let's go through these alpha packs. Like I said, we should be getting at least two legendaries on account of completing the uh, the um, battle pass last season. And then um, here's one legendary right now. And then we got uh, a legendary as a gift for the start of this season. So this is one of at least two. We want something that's not a charm and something that's not a duplicate. Okay, this is the cardboard and cape uh, legendary uniform for Rook. Kind of terrible, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, one of probably the least attractive legendaries there is, but what can you do? Here's a uniform I don't have for Gridlock. Here's some pretty standard. Okay, here's our second legendary. So after this, we might not be getting any more, but the fact that we've already gotten two out of the first five is um, a good sign. So again, we don't want a charm and we don't want a duplicate. Okay, it's a pretty sweet weapon skin for the P10 Roni. Um, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Gonna put that on a Rooney and a uh, Mozzie. Unerring versatility. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we get any more. Don't want to be greedy. That's a headgear for IQ. Here's a uh, weapon skin unique to Frost C1. Um, I mean, that's that's not bad. I kind of like that, but I already have uh, Black Ice for that gun, so Black Ice, of course, trumps trumps all. Here's a Deagle weapon skin. There's a hat for uh, Kaid. Oh wow, it's a custom shield for Blitz. Hmm. Some German writing on there. I don't think I have any shields, shield cosmetics, so that's a first. This is like a toy gun. Okay, here's an epic. Uh, American, American design. It's kind of got a faded wood grain on it for the American operators and, and uh, Ace. Oh, here's literally the toy gun. So that's two toy gun themed skins for the pistols. I think I have this, don't I? 
Yeah. Get some extra renown for that. This is some hideous weapon skin for the auto shoddy. Alright, here's another epic skin. <gasps> Black Ice for the AR-33. One of the most coveted weapon skins there is. You can throw this on Flores and um, uh, Thatcher's primary. Well, that's great. I mean, anytime you get another Black Ice in the set, it's always welcome. This is epic. Oh, and not only is it kind of lame, but it's a duplicate. Here's some uncommon. Uniform for um, Clash. Here's a stupid charm that will never see the light of day. Like most charms. Here's, um... Actually, I think this is the uniform that came out in the season Legion came was released in. So that's kind of his seasonal uniform. Huh, that's funny. Having had no shield cosmetics before, now I've gotten two. Maybe that's something new they added. Oh my goodness, a second black ice? This time for the sidearm for the FBI operators? Incredible. So two legendaries and two black ices. That's some pretty good success. This is a uh, weapon skin for the other weapon that Thatcher has. So not the AR-33. This is the L85A2. Sledge also has it. It's pretty normal skin. Nothing fancy about it. Um, this is the weapon skin that came out with Thorn last season. It's got her Irish knot logo on it. Okay, here's another epic. What? Are you serious? This again? Okay, this is free renown, I guess. Um, this is the MP5K weapon skin for well, my mute, and it's just gray? I guess? I don't know why that's rare. Um... I don't know what this is from. I mean, obviously it's it's for Thunderbird and Finca's um, futuristic, not real AR growling rumble. I don't know if this is part of a set. It's got a kind of slick design. Oh, a third legendary. Oh, it's this ridiculous headgear for Ella. So now I think I have two legendary headgears for her. I don't know what set this is part of, but looks pretty insane. I have another one for her though. I'll look at after this. Let's see another epic. It's another kind of patriotic theme for the FBI operators. Down to the last four. Here's a nomad uniform. Three left. It's another epic. Uh, worthless charm. Gold pendant. It's a six. No one cares. Another epic. Oh, this is the same set that Glory set from the pistol just a moment ago. Here we go. The final one. We've already had three legendaries. A fourth legendary. Four legendaries out of 33 packs. That's incredible. So this is the most recent one. So this makes me think that this is a legendary from this new season's loot pool. So this might be a new one that has not been seen before. Or at least that I haven't seen. Or it could be a duplicate. Let's see. Uh huh. This is for the shotgun for Goyo and Kaid. Saddle up. Uh, I've never seen this. I like it. It's kind of got a leather sort of texture here on the side. Little details here on the handle. It's got this design here on one side of the of the receiver, but not this one. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. It's not flashy. Uh, where is Kaid? Well, here's Ella. Let's look at her helmets. Yeah, so this is this is the punk one that she has now, which is legendary, Anarchy Artillery. And now here's the other one I just got, Skyward Radio. So I don't know why I need two legendaries for uh, the same operator when I don't have a single legendary uniform for her, but, you know, that's the random number generator. Um, let's see this uh, gun skin. So this is the, this is the shotgun. So right now it's rocking this. Gold Impact. And this is the new one. This is this is how it looks on him. Whoops. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a little bit more understated. I'm gonna put his new headgear on. We just unlocked that from the North Star season. All right. Well, there you go. So that was pretty impressive. Four legendaries out of 33, and then two uh, Black Isis to go on top of it. We only had a few duplicates. I guess that's about as good as one can expect, right? Thanks, Ubi.